Ah, good morning to you, Dinky Doo. It's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Periscope, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with me. And a special Dinky Doo to all of you. If you've never heard of Scotty McClure, I am, of course, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Two titles which I thoroughly appreciate, given to me by you, your good selves, the good burgers of not just one nation, but of course every nation. A very good morning to you. Quick Friday pop-up to say hi. You won't be used to seeing me at this time of day, but I like to just surprise you, and I like to say hi. We could, of course, announce it on social media, but it's more fun, I think, just to pop up and say hi. Hi! Lovely to see you, and dinky do, and a very, very warm welcome. Now, lots to discuss this morning. The main reason for popping up is um, I represent the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland as a cultural ambassador, as well as being the world's great broadcaster. So, of course, I tend to want to spread the word and see what is what. Now, as you know, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is absolutely immersed in Brexit, this hoping to leave the EU rightly or wrongly. Now, we did have a referendum about leaving the EU. Is that you in the picture behind, Scott? Yes, it is indeed. We did, um, I shall show you. There we are. There you go. Up we go. Oh, that's me. And over there, up we go. Oh. That's me as well with um, old Lord Wreath, old Lord Wreath, the Labrador, called after the chat that started the BBC. Looking good. I thank you. You're all looking good. Lovely to be with you, of course, and dinky do. Uh, now, uh, so what we're seeing this morning is the setup with Brexit. If you wanted to um, go back to the EU referendum and say to yourself, would you? Vote the same way now, knowing what you know now. So that's what I'm saying. Both the um, Scottish independence referendum and the EU referendum, I think, should be rerun with the facts. All right. Now, people that turn around and say things like, um, oh, Scotland said no. Scotland did not say no. Just over half the people in Scotland said no. And when people say, well, Britain's voted to come out of the EU, Britain has not voted to come out of the EU. A certain percentage of people in Britain have voted to come out of the EU, and they may not have had all the facts in front of them. So perhaps we should be looking at the facts. Very, very important. So think about that. Would you change your vote if you had the opportunity to go back and do it all again. All right, we're looking at that. Uh, spread the word on that. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. Live just for you on Periscope. It's called democracy. It is indeed. And that's what we're looking at. Because I think all the Democrats in the country did not have the right information. They had Duff Jen. So there we are, Duff Jen emanating from both sides. So perhaps it would be a chance to just take a considered time never to rush into referenda and perhaps not to pull um, four countries out of Europe um, if you don't have to do that. So there are. If people don't want that to happen. So there you are. Remember there's no such country as Britain. Uh, you know, it is an amalgamation of four countries. Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. So there you are. So you can't actually be British as such unless you're from Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, or Wales. So it's not just one country that's being pulled out of the EU. It's four countries. And uh, I think as far as I remember, two of them it is against the will, and uh, the other two is against the will of uh, just under half of the people, that sort of thing. So we need to be taking a very, very close look at what's going on here. Is it something we really want? Scotty, you're saying that the majority of the UK are idiots. Not at all. I'm saying that the majority of the UK were perhaps misinformed. Totally different thing. Any of us can be 
misinformed, especially if we trust people to inform us correctly. So, do you see what I'm saying now? Is that beginning to ring a bell? Is the penny starting to drop? That's, uh, that's what we've got to look at there. So, give that a good bit of thought, guys, and uh, perhaps on our next, next scope, or you can join me live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. That's 10 o'clock British summertime. It'll soon change to Greenwich Mean Time. And you will have to adjust Eastern Standard Time or wherever you're watching for that. So very, very important there. So that's what we're talking about this morning. We're in the midst. We're up to our oxters. There's a good Scottish word for you. Your armpits in Brexit. The danger is that we go over our head with Brexit. So we've got one or two enthusiasts that obviously they have interests that would benefit from the United Kingdom being out of the European Union, right? But we are talking about taking four countries out of the European Union. And if it's just on a whim, if it's back of a fag packet economics, then perhaps we need to look again. It's not too late to cancel Brexit. Uh, you know, you can, uh, it takes a brave person to say, I um, you know, need to save a bit of face here, but I wouldn't go ahead and do something just to save face. History is absolutely littered with disasters from uh, politicians who haven't been big enough to say, well, on the other hand, Yes, and uh, we've got to remember that the Prime Minister was all for remaining, that the British government were all for remaining. We all got a pamphlet through the door that said the government would urge you to remain within the European economic community. So there you are. Uh, so suddenly it's turned around. Now this government in particular are um, no strangers to U-turns, so I don't think it would be difficult. It's an email, an email to the leader of the European Union to say, look, perhaps on this occasion we'll probably not bother. But thanks very much. Sorry about the sorry about the mix-up. Blah blah blah. That kind of thing. So there you are. Tell us what you think. They're very very important. Do feel free to join in and say that you would like to uh, make a comment on this. All right. So the question I'm asking you is: Do you feel you voted the right way? at the EU referendum on Brexit, and do you think Brexit should now go ahead, given what you know now? All right, so that's what we're talking about, and uh, I will catch up with you later. Have a fabulous, fabulous day. This is Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you, dinky do. Oh, uh, so there we are. There's uh, an MEP saying if we cancel Brexit, We'll not get as good a deal as we had. Sorry, well, Brexit actually looks as if we're fighting for what we already have. So there we are. We're negotiating to see if we can get something less than what we've actually got. So there you are. <laughs> oh, I'll follow you on your tunes. Don't worry about that. No problem at all. Also, guys, if you want to contribute to the Scotty McClue shows on Facebook Live, please do so. Go to GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, or go on to um, PayPal, yes, and paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. All right, excellent stuff. Have a great day. I shall take care to you guys. Lovely to see you all again, and we will catch up soon. Dinky-doo.